My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago, we were laughing about some nonsense Hi guys, good morning! It is like 3.34ish in the morning We're getting ready to leave for our road trip right now I'm so excited <laughs> We gotta go Except for on the internet Where I'll never really know What's going on But I miss smiles I mean I guess I could check in Once in a while But there's friends Video update, me and Megan are having a good time honestly Right? Yeah We stopped to get Starbucks If the only like knew <laughs> how to use the Starbucks app And uh, Apple Maps It wouldn't be an issue Bro I got my little matcha. I've got my Stanley Tumblr. Isn't she dreamy? Um, we're we're in New York right now. Six hours to go until we're in Vermont. That's not true. It's not? No. Why not? We'll be in Vermont before that. Oh my god. You are such a know it all. Stupid. You are such a <laughs> know it all. No, it's not. Anyways, I'm gonna go fight with Megan. Annalise out. You guys, I'm actually obsessed with this cup. Shut up. Why? Why? I'm back. <laughs> I just want to talk about how sad it is when somebody can't just enjoy things and just, and just live their life without being constantly verbally attacked by others. Somebody who likes joy in their life. <laughs> last night so that we could just not have to worry about finding vegan food. I'm actually so chill right now. Yeah, we're just really chill. chill we're just chilling. Is this how you get upstairs? Yeah, it's just your butt. Like, your butt looks like, huge like, from this angle. <laughs> I'm actually like too like I'm actually scared to go up here. It's just like sketchy, like it's just wood. Okay, get back down here, I'll do it. I don't even know how to get down. You sure you want to sleep up there? No. I'll do it. We almost died going up the hill. Just kidding. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, I'm just kidding. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, do you see how it's kind of scary? Um, I guess, but I kind of like it a lot. Hello? Bye-bye! Okay. Cabin. It's like 9 o'clock at night. We got pizza and we realized it has vegan cheese on it, but it also has not vegan cheese crumbles on it. Whoops. So we're eating our peanut butter and jellies, we're watching Hangover, and we're eating cantaloupe and strawberries. Like, what are you gonna do? But we got sodas. We got sodas, so all is good. And now we're gonna go to bed because we're really tired because we both slept like. Not enough. Megan, how much did you sleep? Like three hours? Yeah. She slept three hours. I slept like two. Okay, it's not a competition. But she was driving the whole time. I was not. I took a nap in the car for a little bit. So we're both just really tired. Like suffice it to say, we're both really tired. Um, so we're gonna crash. Oh, uh, this song. Also, the sound of the bugs outside the cabin is like literally insane. It is so loud. I love it. Yeah. 
<laughs> We're eating really good vegan chicken nuggets. It is day three. It's day three at the cabin. And last night we just kind of went around and like did exploring and ate a bunch of food. Now I'm just getting ready for the day. Today we're kind of doing a similar thing where we're just kind of going around. We're gonna go downtown Burlington and like go in the little shops. We're going to get some little pastries at Sweet Alchemy this morning. Even though we already went there yesterday, they're only open like two days of the week. So we decided that we were gonna go like the two days that they're open and try different things today. It's so fun being in Vermont because there's so much like farmland and just like open space. It feels really nice. Also, I bought books yesterday. Everyone knows that's my favorite. Yesterday was a National Independent Bookstore Day and the lady at the bookstore was so nice. Like for some reason, people at bookstores are always the nicest, kindest, best people I've ever met in my life. And I love them and it makes me want to go to like bookstores all the time and just hang out there and then buy more books and then read those books. We were gonna go get ice cream, but the place only stays open for like another hour and we're not sure we want ice cream. We've been having a lot of sweets. <laughs> Guys, we've been walking around and like I'm just really tired. I want a slushie so bad. Yeah, well, we got a cherry slushie yesterday from the gas station and it was so good. So we probably are gonna need another one of those. <laughs> These are the best chicken nuggets I've ever had in my whole life. In half a mile, turn left onto McGee Hill Road. In half a mile, turn right onto Guinness Road. It's the morning. This morning we're going to Stowe and we're gonna go to like a little apple orchard. Then we're going to another place for breakfast that we went the last time we were here. And then we're gonna maybe do a hike. No, we're gonna do a hike. No, we're gonna do a hike. It is raining right now, but it's supposed to stop raining by the time that we like get where we're going, so. If not, we brought our rain jackets in the back, so. It's finally sunny. Right, Megan? No, I don't see any sun. She's feeling a lot better now that the sun came out. <laughs> she got mad at me for saying that. My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well It's a camera. It's really muddy. I just stepped in like a huge thing of mud. Megan's trying to get me to climb this hill right now. I don't know if you can tell, it's like straight up. And it's all mud and rocks that are super slippery. And she's acting like it's no big deal. She actually did just get to the top. I don't know if I can do that. This is a free people jacket. If I fall... It's not the going up that makes me worry. It's the getting back down. What? How do you feel about getting down? Not too bad. That's a lie. Also, I think her boots are more waterproof than mine. I doubt it. <laughs> She's so high up there, wait. 
Ta -da! You're joking. You're joking. Every time that we go to get slushies, they're out of every single slushie. Every single slushie flavor is broken, but grape was working today, so. We got a grape slushie and a vegan pizza. Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their faces except for all the incident where I'll never really know. Am I gonna be warm enough? We're gonna go get breakfast sandwiches and coffee. Vegan breakfast bagel sandwiches. That's right, we got vegan lox. Vegan uh -huh. lox. I'm excited to try that one because I've never had like lox before. And when I used to work at a coffee shop, I used to make it a lot for people. And to be honest, it always looked gross because I had to touch some raw fish. But like, it kind of sounded cool. Like it was like, oh, you're cool. You're getting lox, like you're cool. So we're trying that this morning. I couldn't tell what you're doing. We're gonna have to drive down our driveway. That's horrifically scary to drive down. It's really not. A lot of potholes, though. A lot of potholes. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you at breakfast. I'm seriously, seriously excited for breakfast. <laughs> We got a, like a vegan lox bagel and a normal breakfast bagel and they're both so good. And we got coffee. We're walking around Woodstock right now and it's so cute. The little bed and breakfast is like really beautiful. And we went to the little farmer's market really quick but we left really fast because we had to pee and they didn't have bathrooms but it was really cute. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Just casually walking downtown because we don't have a car anymore because it's broke. We're walking down to the grocery store because we ordered dinner, but then we couldn't pick it up because our car broke down and so we just lost the money that we paid for that food. Crazy night. <laughs> it's Megan on the phone with our mom trying to figure out what to do. Okay guys, we got ice cream because um, we're waiting for our Uber to come to pick us up and take us home. Non-dairy, Ben and Jerry. We're feeling good. Also, we had to go get groceries. But, best news ever, they refunded my money for my dinner. So we didn't actually pay for the extra dinner, so thank God. There's always something good to look for. You're playing Scrabble because uh, Decided we are. You seem a little apprehensive to the whole idea, but we're gonna find. Oh my god, I look so ugly. I don't know how to not play Scrabble. But we're stuck in the cabin right now because we're waiting to see what's going on with the car and if it's gonna be fixed. And we didn't want to rent a car, so we're just stuck here. And we're watching Gilmore Girls and playing Scrabble. Let's see how I do. Should I keep track of the score? I feel like we should. Never. Okay. Start wow. <laughs> we're leaving right now, we're driving home. Yeah, this morning we woke up and we were like waiting to hear because our car was at the dealership and they were gonna check it out. They like moved things around because they were really busy and they were like, because you guys are like stuck here without your family and like you're just two little girls, we'll just move things around and like get you guys in there because we feel really bad for you. And the guy was so nice. Like, I cannot exaggerate that enough. He was so nice. His name was Sean. And Sean, I don't think you're watching this, but if you're watching this, like, God bless you. Because he really saved our lives. He, like, we're like, we're going to move it around and get you in the schedule. We were at the cabin all morning because we were stuck there because we had taken an Uber back last night. Which, by the way, Uber is so scary. I don't like <laughs> Uber. I'm never going to Uber again in my life. I thought we were going to be murdered. Because the guy made this really weird comment. We were driving in the dark out into, like, the middle of nowhere where our cabin is and he was like where are you guys taking me are you gonna chop me into pieces you promise not to chop me into pieces and i'll promise not to chop you into pieces who says that to these two young girls he was an adult man i've seen so many episodes of criminal minds like don't play with me like that you know so anyways we were at the cabin today played scrabble we made some food with what we had which was just sandwiches that had literally sourdough bread meat cheese and mustard and it was really dry okay it was really hard to swallow honestly i thought what if i joke right now 
Yeah, we did that and then we called our mom because you know like when you're in trouble you just call your mom She kind of helped us figure it out. So we went to the dealership and they said the car was actually fine Doesn't make sense. It was literally rolling back on a hill But he said it could have just been because it was so rainy that day that it got like waterlogged and like Choked up the brakes or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about cars He said that we could have the car back and that it should be fine He was like 90% sure and he was so nice And he said that we have to call him when we get home so that he knows that we made it home safe like that's how nice like we met some really nice people on this trip. Now we're heading home. We got all of our stuff together because we were like, you know what, this trip is over. We actually booked the Airbnb until like Friday, but we we're like, you know what, we're not gonna push it. We want to go home. Like, you're going straight. <laughs> Sorry, you're good. Um, just helping navigate. Just like, <laughs> this is who I am. Literally packed all of our stuff up, and we were like, Mama, like we're coming home. <laughs> Like literally so we're driving through the night. It's literally 7 48 right now We started driving like maybe 45 minutes ago an hour ago, but we picked up food and we got drinks From Starbucks. They're not the best drinks I've ever had, but it's fine. It's just a drink, you know, that's all we needed and Yeah, packed everything up and then left and we're driving home now it says we're gonna get there at 6 30 in the morning, so <laughs> And it was like the worst drive of our lives and we only stopped one time you didn't drive I didn't so drive at all I don't want to hear anything about the worst like an, drive of your life I was sitting again. here for eight hours like you didn't even let saying, me get out that time I have to say Annalise is a great phenomenal DJ she kept me awake the whole time thank you kept directions going everything like, I was the party coordinator I, I'm sitting on her just for fun I don't I actually appreciate her anyways me with my Uggs and now we're done and I'm gonna go in and go to sleep so Bye. Dad. Dad, you don't understand. I'm so tired. Like, I, I can barely get out of the car.